Hi, my name is Emma Ewing and I'm in the River City Kids Forage Club. Today I'm going to show you how to free motion quilt. You can free motion quilt on any sewing machine. I did on my 1970s Kenmore that belonged to my grandmother. The first thing you need to do is drop your feed dogs. These are the little teeth under the needle. They help your fabric move smoothly through the machine. My machine does not have this option, but it will still work for free motion quilting. It is just a little harder. No matter the machine, you also need to release the top thread tension. For me, that is right here, and all I have to do is pop it. There are many free motion designs that you can do. I like to do the meander, which is not a specific design. You just move the quilt around and make it up as you go. You can start wherever you want, but I prefer starting in the corner. When you are doing free motion quilting, keep your needle speed at about medium and move your quilt sandwich at an even pace. If you move it too fast, the thread will be loose and look like a caterpillar. If you go too slow, the thread will be very tight and bunch up. I'll show you. And what I found out is that you want to have your thread on top, so you're gonna put your needle down and back up. And then you're gonna take your top thread and pull it up, and it pulls up the bobbin. Then you're gonna grab that, pull it. There you go. And then put it under the foot, like normal. And then you're gonna want to secure it. The first one I'll show you is what you sh should do and what it should look like. That is small, but that will hold it and it's not too small. Next, I will show you what happens if you move it too fast. As you can see, they are very big and that's not gonna secure your quilt very well and those can get caught and it'll pull the thread out. Next is if you go too slow. As you can see, if you go too slow, they're going to be really tiny and it starts bunching up. There's, there are no rules for free motion quilting meandering. For example, if you get stuck in a corner, you can cross the line you made to get out of it. This way of quilting is fast and easy. With lots of practice, you can start doing patterns. This is a fun way to finish up your quilt. I hope you enjoyed.